So I'm really lost at the sea. So this story has just blown up on social media. This is a search and rescue mission for a submarine. But before that, please make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so that you never miss my videos. So this story is a submarine called the Ocean Gate Titan was going to the bottom of the ocean in Newfoundland to see the Titanic. But the team lost contact with them after about an hour and 45 minutes into its dive. It's currently a top story in the world right now. It's trending on Twitter according to CNN. A search and rescue operation is underway for submersible during the wreckage of the Titanic. So the Coast Guard and private companies are now searching for the submarine and trying to rescue the crew. It's a race against time because it's estimated that as of yesterday afternoon, the sub only has about 60 hours of oxygen left. So there's a very interesting thing about this submarine. I mean, it isn't for a research or any kind of science or any kind of government mission. They all are attending and adventure enthusiasts billionaires and they just chose to go down there for pleasure like it's some there some pastime. Let's do it. There are a total of five people on board. They are all researchers and the owner of Ocean Gate has also been said that he's on the sub. And according to the more reports that there's a Pakistani billionaire and his son is on board. And you know guys, they paid $250,000 per person to do this. Yes, the price tag for these paying customers is $250,000. Completely horrifying. Who does that? And I know that all the people on board knew the risk because they all are interested in these types of things, but still it's not your pastime or some kind of hobby to enjoy. This could be a death warrant for your life. Like just imagine if they're down there at the bottom of the ocean or floating around somewhere in the dark without any power, slowly running out of oxygen over three days. It sounds like this lowest, hopeless, terrible way to die. But the owner himself said in an interview in 2022 that he's not concerned about safety at all. He said there was a limit to safety. You know, at some point, safety is just pure waste. I mean, if you just want to save, don't get out of bed. Don't get in your car. Don't do anything. At some point, you're going to take some risk and it really is a risk reward question. Literally, billionaires can do anything to get some more happiness. Even if it involves to risk their own lives, there are people hoping that they could be saved. But there are also people hoping that these five people will perish. And it's just sad because nowadays, anyone could grow their hatred towards wealthy.